hello and what is going on you guys hyperion blue gt here it's time to get ready to go over onto sport mode for participate in the 2022 series to be part as the exhibition in the nation's cup so right now we're about to be ready to go in on to test season number one we'll be settled in to be at the first round we'll be locating at Sucupa circuit by using the Mazda Roadster S ND model 2015 represent one of five countries or regions and put your pride on the line as you take on rival drivers in white hot international races so this is going to be my first time ever in Gran Turismo 7 because taking part in GT2 League is going to be the right start for having a burst moment to be part of the video segment. So let's go and head out to be participate to be selected at the start time we'll be entering to be on now accepting to be labeled in the green light. So I'm about to go there right now. So this will be having some description to explain about the details about the regulation and the course info so everything is going to be doing much different just like from Gran Turismo Sport. Race information, regulations on car, white body will be on prohibited, checked, tire choice will be on the comfort soft tires, check. So this is going to be a very good choice to have race settings will be having four options. The balance of performance slash tuning forbidden will be also to be applied. Car settings will be specified, but it will be quite enabled to have pit lane on line cutting penalty. So we just gonna have to make sure to have a lot of regulations will be suitable to take a lot of racing responsibilities before you can enter. Garage car will be used to be on the race settings, so this will be having a first start on to race number one to be at Sucupa Circuit for only seven laps for only number of cars in 20. Start type will be at grid start, so this will be a very good choice to get ready to go in to be part of the first ever Gran Turismo World Series to be in the Nations Cup. So I'm all set and ready to go to have the Mazda Roadster S ND 2015 for the UDRS in Sportec livery. And make sure when choosing the Roadster will be well suitable to be on the BLP race regulations. 128 horsepower is all checked. Weight correctly to be at 2,183 pounds. Now this is going to be the perfect time to go in to have a much differences we'll have to go over to be on the free practice. So, as you may ever enjoy watching the video, go and subscribe to my YouTube channel for a like, comment, and bell for notification uploads, and check out the links on the description if you really want to see more. Feel free to enjoy it anytime you want for the entertainment. Now it's time to get ready to start the race, and let's begin. I'm so very hyped with this different interface on GT7 to be part in the Nations Cup. But I mean, it's so very amazing to have some interfaces will have to be on highlighted because the entry period is now in progress. We'll have to go in to be on the specific colors. One for the green to be well matched and ready to go for only 15 minutes. Yellow will be represent to have a reminder notice in about 5 minutes. But it might be quite possible to be end up in the red, so just gonna have to make sure to be here on time before the lobby will have to join in session. Now let's go over onto the car settings because any performances will be well suitable to be needed because only in sport mode, the BOP always gonna have to be setting up automatically according to the performance points. So it's automatically at 403.09 performance points is doing a good suitable for recommendation to be part as the official championship. From the last video for some introduction on Nations Cup and Manufacturer Cup, so it will have to go down to business, we'll have to do some more practice, will be always to be reminder for having an important event to be on the date. So let's go and get ready to take some practice in about 3 minutes and 22 seconds left. I had to be ready because switching up onto the hook cam as always.
But you know what? If I could probably have to do perfectly to do some best moments, so I could probably have to do some commentating, but I have to go average since the opening start of the test season. I'll make sure if I can probably have to do the official role as my commentator, we'll have to see some good racing moments, but I just barely took a lot of expression since Gran Turismo Sport back then, but moving on to GT7, we'll be have to do much differently since we've been doing some exhibition series for this year to be part of the test season. So let's make sure to have to do some warm up until the lobby will be ready to go in to be start out in about 2 minutes and 20 seconds left. So what do you guys really think about my own design? Looks so entry open ready. But I'm ready because this livery design I created for my last video is all about differences to be part as an open competition entry. But I could probably have to give a good title name for the Master Roaster and the model. Let's call this an entry car to be suitable to be labeled as a registration race car. But yes, that's how I just putting up with two of my logo de decals like UTRS on the rear along with the InSport tech to be placed right next onto the European license plate with Gran Turismo logo in it. I spent by under 20 minutes so I could probably have to do a time lapse with a GT1 dealership music from Mazda. But it's all about doing some hard work whenever I have to put up with some fictional and actual decals to be well put up in the livery editor. Just gonna have to stay right on track onto the red zone. One minute left. It's about to go closer to be on the red zone. So keep that in mind you guys. Whenever you're gonna have to be here on time before the race starts, make sure take a good correct practice since you've been working so hard onto some any kinds of specific racetrack with using any different cars before you can enter in the Nations Cup. But the handling physics is gonna be doing much different so better make sure just gonna have to drive carefully or try not to get hit by any opponents. Two choices We'll have to combine into one, we'll have to do some strategies whenever you're going to have to do some good clean racing moments on your full GT7 journey. 15 seconds left. Gonna have to do whatever I can to do, get down to do some drill. Pace it up. Hairpin number two is going clear and check. Alright. Now entry period has ended and here I come let's get in on board with the lobby this is gonna be my first online seven you guys and take a good look to see how the list of GT players and their own Mazda Roadster S and D models will be having a good differences with standard colors with custom parts along with liveries as well excellent very excellent, and I'm about to be ready to get on board. Cool. Looks like I'm starting out in position number five. Hold on a second. I thought I just had my best effort out there to be on driver rating A, but now it's going right back down onto driver rating B. But not to worry, you guys. I did my best since the Road to GT7 series from GT Sport, so I'm about to catch up on the driver rating A before I'm about to be entered onto the GT1 class. Let's get it on and switch things up for having some good clean effort to see how challenging we'll have to go basic to advance to be part of the Nations Cup. Okay then, well... The warm up has ended. Never mind that, so I should probably have to do some short time to do some relaxing free time before I'm about to do another clip. But except this one, this part of the video is all about doing some example. So, time to get ready to go on the qualifier. We'll be doing the second stage after the warm up.
Alright, let's go. Just gonna have to be ready. Auto drive to exit out the pits. Very good. Looks like there's both DC, Elliot, Michael. Coming right in. Don't make sure I have to do some good exercise practice for having a good run out there to do some time trial. Let's get in there on to hairpin number two. Drive carefully and be respect to your own car with some handling physics. I bet if there's some Gran Turismo YouTubers are doing some live streaming because they know I'm here. I'll make sure I have to give a good warm welcome for having a nice competition ready. There's PR Suave Boy entered in position number two. Kick things up a notch. Final turn, let's get ready. Here I go. Let's make sure, gonna have to do some breaking point when enter the red zone. But I'm still get used to the red line zone whenever using the braking system is gonna be doing correctly. But it's also to be well needed to be part as the assist settings in GT7. But I'm still kind of like it. It can help me to do some correct movements on the corner and the track. Let's keep things going up. Drop it in. Take hairpin number three to get closer onto the apex. Very good. But there is also going to be having some reminder tip when you're using a current vehicle in the same model with a wide body kit installed. So make sure just going to have to switch to a non wide body car will be entered to participate. So there it is right now. Lap number one to be on the qualifier end and moving on in lap number three to have a new record set. Second place, here I come and... Alright, looks like more players are now taking the new lap time to be well achieved. And there is King Pit Dog. There he is right now you guys. Position number five at the top left. Just gonna have to drive smoothly. Key rev him up. Follow the line and master hairpin number three. Okay, how many minutes left? Three minutes and 35 seconds left. Alright, looks like PR Swap Boy is doing well. One minute and 12.395 seconds. Gotta make sure that I have to beat my, his time. Ah, there you go. Almost barely had a chance to stay in position number six. Looks like Harvey Birdman 21 set a new record, you guys. Have to make sure to have one GT player to have two usernames, well, probably the nickname and the PSN gamer tag also to be part of it. Pophum underscore four took the lap time. Gonna have to keep trying hard. Four Edge 2012 is doing okay. Apollo Cast is doing well achieved. Oh man, looks like first place for doing a successful lap time in 1 minute and 12 seconds to be added with a decimal of 313 seconds. So fast and going average, you guys. Let's try to keep things smoothly. Mm -hmm. 
but I know this is gonna be my first time in the Nations Cup on GT7. The first round in Test Season 1 is gonna be doing some warm up for the kicks. There's Granite Jarhead. Tony Cow 24 took the lap time. GB underscore MX24. Very cool. Pom Plum underscore four did a new record set. Come on, just gonna have to push hard. That would be my best spotlight if I could probably have to take one minute and 12 seconds to be at it in a time. 13 seconds is gonna have to do some average Joe time. Their gear is going up. Come on. Take that out and out for doing the final corner. Same time as always. Gonna have to get my A game up, you guys. Good job, Granite Jarhead. You did great out there to be in 9th place. Drops down onto 11th place for myself. I really hope my driver rating A from GT Sport is still there. Maybe I'll have to make sure to come back after this. Hmm. Looks like a cow is doing a new set of a record time. Not bad. No matter this GT player did a good job to do some effort to go hard in Tsukuba Circuit in the Master Roaster ND 4th Gen model. I'll give that for an endorsement. Final stretch I go. Take that final turn at the apex and keep coming in on the finish line. Check your flag complete. Now, ended up in 12th place. So for doing some practices before joining session on the lobby. So that makes qualifier number two is going to be doing well check to have some preparations to get start settle in to do some real deal. Now dropping down onto 13th place after several GT players just really tried to keep things up to have the beating time in about 1 minute and 12 seconds in a random act of decimal. So everybody is made it at the checker flag so there's only 2 drivers left the lobby. There's only 18 are still standing. Not a problem. So this race is about to be over soon until now. I guess I'm about to have to get ready because 7 laps is doing an average intermediate course. We'll be using the Roaster S 4th generation ND model 2015. We'll be ready to take on for having a one make category. So good luck to all of you guys in the lobby because that race will be our first time including me, we'll be doing our best of luck for having a good, excellent, clean race. The final will begin in about 25 seconds, so better make sure to do some strategy when you're taking on in three hairpins at Tsukuba Circuit. Especially other corners as well along with the straightaways, so keep that in mind for some handling when using the roaster to be part as a touring car competition entry to be entered. So three seconds and let's get ready to go on. Let and let's begin. Welcome to the test season 1 of the 2022 Gran Turismo World Series of the Nations Cup. Starting grid is about to be raring to go for having one make race and we got some good drivers. First up, A-Cow is now entered in pole position 
Apollo Kratz in second place. PR Suat Boy is now here in third place. External 50 in fourth place. Fifth place, C Saint C55 has entered. Shark 2.0 in sixth place. Seventh place, TPC underscore Kaisen. Eighth place, Bo Dizzy is now entered. Ninth place, King Pit Dog live streaming in in progress. And here's Dan in position number 10. B Howard is now entered on to position number 12. Granite Jarhead in 12th place. 13th place is GP underscore MX24 along with myself in 14th place for the UDRS in Sportec Libri. Pomplum underscore 4 is here in 50th place. Legal Donut in 16th place. SRT PHX 602 in 17th place. And Harvey Birdman 21 in 18th place. Excellent quick showcase and starting out to be in three seconds for having a nice excellent competition to be in the test season you guys good luck to all of you may the best racer win okay let's get it on and do some good customization exterior look on the roaster better make sure it might be quite doing a good job out there Elliot Michael is now passing through on to 12th position to be entered at hairpin number 2. Keep things up a bit. The contact is going to be very real and oh boy. Looks like that was definitely might be having some loose control on the handling. That makes the green flag will be letting faster drivers will have to go forward. While several drivers might be having some minor issues about the handling. Oh man looks like there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Looks like... GPMX just barely lose control on the handling grip. I have to make sure if I could probably have to try to stay on track. Position number 12 that I'm about to be moved forward. Only 11 cars left to go before at the end of lap number one. A cow is now coming in to take the lead and oh man looks like this is definitely not good. Bo Dizzy is barely going up the track at the final corner at at the out and out in Sakuba circuit before several drivers entered in lap number two. See what I mean you guys? This race is very challenging right up the start. I have to make sure to be very careful without having too much drama during the competition in the Nations Cup. It's all about clean racing to be in the one make category. Time to go in catching up on to Elliot Michael uh, oh no no oh man this is not good Camp it dog just barely lose control this is definitely might be going intense somebody please just give me some bottle of water will have to calm me down okay then wow talk about having a dramatic role play that we'll have to give some desperate measures always makes the calls for a competition measures now where was I oh yeah moving on in position number 10 is on the road you guys let's try to keep things up at the at the out and out corner in last turn stay on track lap number two is coming in towards at the end a cow did a good job to do the fastest lap in one minute and 12.866 seconds Oh yeah, hairpin number one is doing well cleared. Sometimes every clean racer always tries to do what the drill can always have to do from GT Sport. Just gonna have to try to be respectful to any GT players during Gran Turismo 7. Especially GT Sport as well to be part of the daily race. Now Granite Jarhead is pushing in on to position number 8 and UDRS in Sportech is pushing forward to go on the offense before moving in on to hairpin number 3. And oh boy looks like Double Trouble makes the contact and it's Bo Dizzy is now squeezing in on to position number 8 by the overtake at myself and Granite Jarhead to be at the full straightaway until at the out and out corner at the final turn. But it's all about doing some average work out there to see some racers to learn the handling physic is going to be doing some struggle. But it's not 
no longer in GT Sports. This is Gran Turismo 7, you guys. It's all about celebrating Gran Turismo's 25th anniversary to the game. Now, let's go in on to hairpin number one to be passing through. Keep pushing forward for UTRS in Sport Tech to catch up on the Granite Jarhead. Pass through on to hairpin number two. Dive in. Try not to get contact to be entered at the inside. Almost barely had a chance and the condition is about to move forward at the time. So better make sure that the headlights will be turned on automatically because the twilight will be entered before the night time comes. Let's stay on track. Keep on racing to go clean. Very much excellent out there to stay on the line. But also the slipstream will be needed in case for doing some ongoing battles during the part of the test season in the Nations Cup. For the Nations Cup on today, Manufacturers Cup for tomorrow for having a different championship series title to be set in ready to do some test season for this week you guys. Always make sure to do some scheduled time reminder before the important competition will be ready to start out. Way to keep things up a bit. UTRS in Sport Tech is coming closer to overtake Granite Jarhead before entered again onto hairpin number two. But the blocking defense is still on the struggle. But luckily, the GT wing is still in place for having some good improvements to see how touring cars like the original Mazda Roadster TC icon to be well placed. But it's a fourth generation Mazda will have to do some incredible racing battle to be part in the Womack series. Coming right in on to hairpin number three to be passing through. Pushing up onto the acceleration to be overtake at Granite Jarhead for myself. Side by side, this is going to be the most incredible battle out there to do some warm up to be in the test season. And here comes the out and out. Coming in at the inside of the apex, coming closer before the evening dusk comes. The sixth lap is coming closer towards at the final lap, you guys. Better make sure another race entry will be available by the chance as always. 3.7 seconds up ahead on both Dizzy in position number 8. UDRS in Sport Tech is doing a good job out there for doing the first time. Come on, just gonna have to stay right on track. Hairpin number two clear. Next turn at the right, we'll be doing basic cornering, just like National B license. Absolutely correct. Breaking zone comes in towards hairpin number three. Good handling style. All right, looks like there's the lunar on the skies. Wow, so beautiful out there, you guys. I hope nighttime is gonna be so realistic in GT7. So we're almost there. Lap number six is coming towards the end and we're about to be entered at the final lap. Looks like ACAL is doing a good job out there, you guys. But no matter this kind of an average Gran Turismo player is doing a good suitable job out there to take the lead in the Mazda Roadster 4th generation is doing a successful race out there in the first round of the Nations Cup in the 2022 Exhibition Series test season. So it looks like it's going to be coming closer for PR Suave Boy in 2nd place followed by Externo 50 in 3rd place. They're going right at it. After taking through with hairpin number 3 two drivers in third and second place is about to be doing a one last final showdown and a cow is about to take the final stretch at the out and out corner until reaching up onto the finish line and there you go you guys a cow takes the win in the first season at the test season of the exhibition series in the 2022 series you guys very good job to see how a cow did a good job for having a first time in gt7 you guys now that's a beginner's competition to be in sport mode. 
I'll be coming in at 9th place to be at the finish, so... There you have it. Total time in 8 minutes and 36.73 seconds for faster GT players for doing a good effort to be part in the first time. So it was so incredible to see how ACAL did a good job for having a victory win. PR Swap Boy did a good job in second place along with External 50 in the same Monster Roaster ND model to be in a different color. Trophy earned, Sport Mode debut. Excellent. One star earned to be on the clean race. Well, I did my best out there, you guys. That was a very good, excellent 2022 exhibition series to be in the test season one. First round at Sukupa Circuit, so it would be a very good price money to be added by 50%. So let's collect and fill it out. Increase mileage. GG, you guys. This race session has finally ended. I'll make sure I'll have to save a replay after this. This will be my first replay in the Nations Cup on Gran Turismo 7, you guys. After you finish the first round, always save a replay to share your moments in the highlights. So I hope it's going to be doing a good job for having the top 3 drivers for doing the best point average to be added up onto 100. So let's do some history so it doesn't include the automatically quote from GT Sports so I'll make sure to have to say congratulations just give me one moment to check the time One moment. All right, there you go. Well, I'm always gonna have to use the keyboard attached to the PS4 Pro, so it would be much easier, so I could probably have to keep an eye out on the time before at the session end. So, First race in the Nations Cup, so I'll make sure I'll have to come back at any time for only 5 race entry will be available before the first round will be finished. Okay viewers, let's have a good look in the event schedule for the first season as a test for the 2022 Exhibition Series Nations Cup. 4 rounds to be at the same track in the same car as the one make category. So we did round 1 to be scheduled on March 21st on Monday, so we're about to be moving on in Thursday in March 24th to be at round 2 at the same track by using the same car in the one make category. Saturday as always for round 3, same track, same car in the one make category. And also to be at the final round is going to be very different to be at the same track and the same car will be at March 28th. But it's like a marathon to be in the first season in Gran Turismo 7. Amazing. But I kind of like the first season of the Nations Cup to be as a marathon to see how challenging for all of us whenever we had to push ourselves to the limit. But always gonna have to go competitive for only two championship events to be in sport mode. Nations Cup is complete for today and now Manufacturer's Cup for tomorrow will be at the first round at the same season to be as a test to be at Deep Forest Raceway for the Group 3 category. So now it's time to get ready to wrap this up before the practice begins by tomorrow. Just gonna have to keep on practice, going clean, and find your line. I'll make sure I have to do some more full walkthrough to be doing some menu book collection at the GT Cap Bay for the next video. But so many kinds of different opportunities for Gran Turismo 7. So I have to make sure to have all kinds of good options whenever I might have to do some more license tests. And also a mission Papillon will be soon to be unlocked. Especially the Legend Car dealership will be ready to be unlocked as well. So I'll make sure that any kinds of non-commentary commentary videos 
to be in the GT Auto for doing some livery editors. But I'll make sure I have to choose any kinds of vehicles for putting up with my own kind of the design like UTRS in Sportech livery. But it's going to be the perfect time to get ready to wrap this up and it's daybreak. Thank you for enjoying watching the video on Gran Turismo 7 you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Just go subscribe to my YouTube channel for a like, comment, and bell for notification uploads on upcoming content videos if you like to see. And don't forget to check out the links on the description to see some more images like UTRS in Sportech Libraries, Vision Total Drama Fan Art, and more whenever you'd like to welcome at any time. I'll be seeing you guys next time on Gran Turismo 7, and I look forward to see you again in the next video. Keep on racing, stay clean.